Good morning. I have another missionary journal to share with you today. Um, this young lady got her mission call. I, I can't remember where she's going, but I'm excited for her. She chose browns, blues, and purples. And this kit from... <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of uh, my porch prints lately. It just uh, happened to be how that ended up. She had the perfect kit with blues and purples. I've thrown in bits of brown here and there, and we'll see how I did. Um, this front image, gorgeous image, comes from the kit. I backed onto white cardstock, and then backed that onto vintage music paper, so it kind of shows up the music paper behind the peacock. I've done a heavy craft cardstock spine that I've also stenciled. The center is, the cover is made out of craft cardstock that I have covered with this beautiful blue cardstock. And then there's cardstock on the inside covers. So it's, it's sturdy. Eyelet twine closure. Let's go inside. I've also reinforced the the bend with muslin, <clears throat> just so, because I figure this is the part that will wear out first. So, reinforce that. Um, she has these large tickets and pockets that can go on them, if you so choose, and I chose. So, it made a really nice pocket for a library card, which comes from old design shop, and then I've stamped a purple rose on it. There are lovely scriptures and quotes throughout. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a beautiful peacock journal. Just the perfect colors. A large journal card that I've edge punched. The journal card comes with the kit, and then I backed onto a splatter of tea uh, cardstock. I kind of like that splatter instead of just painting it or dipping it. kind of like that. It's kind of messy and kinda cool. This comes from the innkeeper, not innkeeper, Mrs. Cox. I have a book that has a large prints of um, art and it was Monet in that book, and the colors were just wonderful. So I dissected it into two. So there are two large journal cards in this kit. Backed it with beautiful purple notepaper, sewed around, added a die cut flower. Another pocket, tagged this time by themselves. More splatter of tea on there. A journal card comes with the kit, isn't that pretty? And a journal card. With her background papers, I have made two envelopes. This is the first one. I added my little post-it post stamp. And on the inside is a journal card. She on the back. I love Saturdays because my oldest son and my oldest daughter love to go yard estate sailing with us. And it's just, even if we don't really find anything that we want to purchase, it's just fun to be together. A scrap of doily, paper doily there, and this image comes with a kit on the tag, and then another journal card. I did have to cut it down just a little to fit in the envelope. A scrap of the background papers I had left over, and this image comes with the kit. And another journal card. And then another small journal card, backed onto tea dyed index card. Binding from Laura's shop. 
I've been staying in frame. It seems like I have to move all around so you can see it all. It's kind of a large book. I'll tell you the dimensions in just a second. Two more pockets. Tickets that come with the kit. Let's flip out. I printed all the pattern papers on parchment paper, of course. A little pocket that I've made with background papers. When life is too hard to stand, kneel. And another ticket. Inside the pocket, we have a tag with a ticket from the kit and just some scraps I had laying around. In fact, the tag is made out of scraps. Okay, I've made two of these to go in here. I've embossed the paper that I'm, I should have die cut first because it does tend to squish your embossing just a little. <clears throat> but anyway, so I ran it through and die cut and then I ran through one of the images and die cut that the same and then glued it all together onto cardstock that's printed with lines for a nice little tag, I thought. In the center, we have the this trim, it's kind of brown and off-white, and then some flowers, some rosettes I thought went well with the colors. Here I just grabbed scraps that were on my desk and a piece of the Monet that was left over and sewed them all together. It makes a nice little tuck spot for two more journal cards. That's so pretty. I mean, I'm not huge on blue and purple together, but this, this is just lovely. And let's see another large journal card that I've edge punched. This is also from my porch print, but a different kit. And then she can turn on the back. Another journal card comes with the kit, and then I've just backed onto this blue index card. And the other piece of the Monet with a wonderful quote and a Tim Holtz die. Purple on the back. Another envelope with a label that comes from another of her kits and then I've just stamped some hearts on it. There's the other embossed die cut tag. This image though is from Miss Cox. Another scripture quote into a pocket. The tag flips open for another journal card. center of the second signature, another envelope, more doily, and image from the kit. This is Mrs. Cox. Not pretty. Another scrap piece and another image from the kit. And another journal card. You can see that. Pretty. Another scripture quote. And another tag. This is from another of her kits. So I just had it left over, so I thought I'd throw it in here on a tag. Ticket, or excuse me, a tag that comes with a kit. I've just turned it into a tab. This is just some purple that I had left over from something, and I just thought it went nice in here. Isn't that pretty? So I turned it into a floating pocket with journaling space on the back. And then a large tag on the inside. This is from some wrapping paper I had. Isn't that pretty? Lovely purples. Which you can journal on the back. Another of her pockets. And I put a couple of scrap paper tags in it. Back of lined index card. And then it flips open for more journaling. Their scrap cluster tuck spot. Seen 
by now. Can't remember what that was. Vintage line paper. Large paper clip holding in. This is an envelope that comes with a kit. I cut off the flaps. Actually did it on purpose this time. And we have a little stamping and just some vintage typewriter paper. Pamphlet stitched in there for just extra journaling space. I'm sorry, sometimes I go quiet. <laughs> Please let me know if I go too quiet. Oops. Just like, uh, I can't hear you anymore. But also tell me if I get too loud. Oh my goodness, that would be even worse. And then in the back, she's got this cool triple pocket thing going on. So I've seen it in other of her kits that I have, but I've never tried it and I don't know why. Um, so this is a tag from another kit. And it's right in there. Extra journaling paper. Really nice heavy duty line paper. And this is Cox. Second one. And then I've got three tags here. This is from another kit, just scraps I had left over. And two more little tags, again from scraps, from scrap piece of cardstock I had, and then I've stamped on it. And then a wonderful little quote there. And that is my latest missionary journal. I hope she likes it. And I hope you enjoyed this flip through. If you did, like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.